It's testimony time. I said it's testimony time. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll do the online t testimonies first and then we'll have the live testifiers. Our first online testifier is from Professor Abiodun Olaya Paul from Nigeria. He received the word of prophecy spoken through Daddy Jew that there's somebody here, enemies have closed all doors against you. And God said that before the end of July, he would open those doors. Two days after, he was restored to a position with an unexpected promotion. Praise the Lord. The second is from Pastor Mrs. Henri Dide Olua from Nigeria. She had an accident which caused a major shift in her spine, which gave her excruciating pain periodically. The doctors suggested a major surgery, but with a 50-50 chance of survival. She opted to write a letter to Daddy Gio. She subsequently got a reply that she will soon share her testimonies. Miraculously, the pains have disappeared and she no longer uses a collar for movement. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God is good. Praise the name of the Lord. The next online testifier is Sister Victoria Modukwe Omotosho from Nigeria. She developed a chronic eye problem and she feared that she was going to go blind. She also noticed that her children were also going through the same ordeal with their eyes. She decided to write a letter to the office of Daddy Gio and she was invited and was prayed for by Daddy Gio. When she went back to the doctors for tests, they couldn't believe what they saw. The doctor had to conduct a second test. In fact, the doctor began to doubt if she actually had the disease initially or in the first place. But the God of Daddy Gio stepped in and rewrote their stories. Praise the name of the Lord. The next online test testifier is Brother Ulwa Femi Adewumi from Nigeria. At the Holy Ghost, at the June Holy Ghost service, Daddy Gio gave a prophecy that somebody will meet an old friend who will be nice to him. He got admission for his PhD, but didn't have enough money to pay. To the glory of God, he did meet a friend, and the friend paid for his tuition and gave him even more than he required. Let somebody shout hallelujah. We have brother Adeshino Akinkumi Isaac from Germany. He wrote an examination and came out realizing that he had made many mistakes and considered that he had failed. But whilst writing, he placed the handkerchief placed by our father on, in the Lord in his pockets. But miraculously, when, he, when the results came out, he had one of the best results in his class. Hallelujah! Praise God. Practical Christianity. The next testifier is brother Tolu Emmanuel from Nigeria. His sister fell into a coma and he took one of the anointed handkerchiefs and placed on her and he prayed for her and God restored her back to life. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Now it's time for the live testifiers. Praise the Lord. My name's uh, Assistant Pastor Adegoke Emmanuel from Benue Province 4. June 26, 2017, I had a terrible gas fire accident that impacted all my body. And when I was taken to the hospital, the doctor said, I cannot get my skin back. And people were telling me that in three months, it will be itching you, this and that, and when the water splash, it will 
and you, you scratch it, it will start again. But God intervened. I went to God and I cried to God. Jeremiah 37, what he said, I will restore to you earth and cure. I will heal you all your wound. And God of all flesh intervened. Less than a week, when it was six days, God healed me that the skin started growing again. And when it happened, that was the first miracle. The first miracle was that the fire engulfed all over my body, but I had a burning bush experience that the cloth was not burning. I was imagining what, what, what could be the cause. I remember that one of the Holy Ghost that the other way he prayed that the cloth you are wearing has become a wonder. And so the, the fire burned me more than 30 seconds. But even the cloth could not even string. There was no effect on the cloth. And less than a week, I got my skin back. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Mevlin Irabo. I, I came with my parents from Benin. I reside in Lagos, but I came to camp with my parents. I got married in 2020. And um, after a year, I took in and I had a miscarriage at week 10. So 2022, I came to camp with my parents, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Before leaving the house, my husband said, if after August you don't take in, that we we'll have to go for other solutions because we have tried every other means. And all the results, the, I couldn't, we couldn't tell what, what, what the problem was. And so when I came to camp, I went to open heaven with my parents. We prayed. I came back from open heaven. I saw that they are longer. One of the pastors, I told him and he joined his faith with my faith. We prayed. That Friday evening, daddy said, there is somebody here. My, my daddy said, I should tell you that the victory I will give you this time around will last forever. And it felt as if daddy tapped me and said, I'm talking to you. And I screamed. I said, amen. I received it. I told my mom, I said, he has not given me. He said, the one he will give me this time around will last August, I went back home. And September, I started bleeding seven days before my period. I, I thought, what is going on? We went to see a senior gynecologist and he said, it can't be pregnancy because the egg is not uh, matured enough to fertilize. That is an underlying illness. My husband said I should go to a lab and do tests. And we went. The first test did not show. The woman said she is sure that it's pregnancy and they did the test again. The line was very faint. My brothers and my sisters, my mommies and my daddies, the egg that did not fertilize me. Well. This is the egg. This is the egg. So healthy. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Joel Alekon. I'm from Zambia, Northwestern Province. One of our sisters in the church was diagnosed of having cancer, um, kidney problem, and she emaciated. Her stomach became so big, and she was in and out of the hospital for months. And um, after last year, around um, September, um, the doctor had to call some of, called some of the um, leaders of the church aside and said, let us just be open to you. Um, she cannot survive it. She's going to die. Just take her home, call her family, let them come and spend some time with her, at least before she dies. Because we were even suggesting that we take her to Lusaka, a bigger hospital. They said, no, you don't have to because you will have to spend money to bring her costs back home. So we have to resign to faith. Meanwhile, I was in the camp here last year. I was so privileged to be in daddy's office, daddy Geo's office with some of the delegates. And they prayed on our handkerchiefs. He shook our hands and he prayed on our anointing oil. 
I took the anoint and the handkerchief home. I prayed a, little, a, a simple prayer the way that he used to pray simple prayers. I said, Father, you have been, we have been hearing testimonies of how you, uh, the anointed, anointed handkerchief have been healing people. I want you to do this one. We don't want this sister to die. We want her to live. If you can do it, I will come here on this altar. I will testify. People of God, God is wonderful. Our sister is, is be, has been healed. The stomach has gone down. She has come back to herself. She has resumed her work. She could do everything without, at home without medicine. God healed her. She's okay. She's alive. She didn't die. Glory be to Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Helen Emanuel Otu from Akwaibon Province 4. I have come to this exalted altar to return all the glory to the covenant keeping God. I got married 2014 and since then I've been believing God for the fruit of the womb. 2022 Holy Ghost service, September Holy Ghost service, which was specialized for expectant mothers. I was at the viewing center. I came with my baby items and it was anointed by one of my pastors. And the Holy Ghost service with the team, covenant keeping God, I cannot forget. God of covenant, bless me. That same month, I conceived. In one of our daddy's prophecy, he said, there's a woman here, I don't know whether she's at the viewing center or right here in the camp. But by this same time next year, you shall be dancing to the altar with your bundle of joy. I jumped up from where I was seated. I claim it with a loud amen. That same month, I conceived. 2023 May, I gave birth to this wonderful covenant baby. And on September 2023, I danced to the altar with this bundle of joy just as our father in the Lord prophesied. I have come to return all the glory to the covenant keeping God. God broke the barrenness of eight years in my life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We are Dikin and Dikin and Solua Morile from Region 32, province, Ogun Province 6, Abodan Joy Parish. We got married 29th of March 2008. And since then, we have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We did IVF three times, but failed. We wrote that Joe first time, he replied, he said, all will be well. The second time, we got invitation. We, he, he laid hand on us, he said, all will be well. Then, last year, our pastor of our zone, Pastor Mr. Deshino, promised, he, he advised us to do another IVF. And we told that we have done it three times, but failed. She said, but this time around, Let's do it for God. We said, okay. And we came to this exotic altar. Before the procedure, we asked God for mercy. We pray. We asked God for mercy. We said, we don't have anything to ask God and mercy. We left. Later, we came back. A week before minister's conference, we restart to the camp. That the procedure will meet us in the camp. Then, during the minister's conference, we prayed as well. On Friday, of Holy Ghost night. Immediately, that Gio prayed. Sit, be, I, sit probably on his seat. He said, somebody is here. He said, this month, August, you are pregnant. We say, amen. As exact as the God said, the same August, we got pregnant. Doctor said, my wife got pregnant. In fact, I, did, I, was, I was surprised. I couldn't believe it. 
Until when he showed us results that it was positive, but that, that was the first time we had positive results. That is, got pregnancy. Then, March 2020, March 29th of this year, 2024, that our marriage closed 16 years. As that day, God gave us a gift. He gave us a boundary joy. He made our reproach. He stopped our reproach. He stopped our barrenness. He stopped our stagnation. He gave us a joy. He gave us blossom. This is the baby. This is the baby. God did it for us. Who did it? Jesus. My name is my name is Mrs. Winifred Orarebo and my husband Dr. Jerry Orarebo. For the past nine years we have been married and we have been believing God for the blessings of the fruit of the womb. During those years I become I've been coming for convention. Then then 2022 20, August, I was not feeling fine, so I couldn't make it to camp. I was watching it at home. Monday I was watching it Tuesday, I was watching it. Then during that the Jesus uh, preaching, he made a comment and said, if there is fire on this auditorium and you are at home viewing it, people are quenching the fire. Will, will you that is watching it from house, will you be able to quench the fire? Then he laughed and, say, and said, you better find yourself here. And I was not feeling fine. I, I, after the program, I, was, I, I, I got up, I got ready. The next morning, I find myself in the camp. Then after the convention, I went home. I went home. September, I had a dream. I saw that the Joe in my dream. I was like, how am I so close to him? Where are the usher? Nobody is holding me. I was shaking. Then he was laughing. He was laughing. Then I was playing with my, with my little brother. He said, is that your baby? I was like, no. Don't you know I don't have a child yet? You see God and talk to him every day. Please tell him to bless me with a child. Then he was laughing. Then, uh, he, then he then asked me, where is your husband? I said, my husband is not here with me. He said, where is he? I said, where is he? Where my husband is? He's, he's, he's out of the country. I don't like the place. He said, if your husband is not here, what are you doing here? I said, I don't like where he is. Then he then said, where, you, where your husband is? Is where you are now better than that place? He was still laughing. Then I said, let me carry my brother that I was holding. Immediately I carry my brother, I look up, I did not see him again. Then I woke up. Immediately I woke up, I was just thanking God. I called my husband. I said, you better find yourself to Nigeria this year, oh, because this year I'm carrying my baby. He said, it's just a dream, Joe. I said, it's not a dream, oh, you better come. Then I called my pastor. I called my pastor, Pastor Lucky or Dekia. I said, please. Follow me in prayer, so this year I must carry my baby. My husband came back in December 1st. From that December 1st, we are hoping, hoping, hoping and praying. I was still believing. Then on the 31st of December, God gave me a perfect miracle. <laughs> I confirmed pregnant. And August, I, I, I came to, I come to camp. 2023 August with my pregnancy to thank God at this altar. Then went back home. I put to bed on God 38. And this is my baby. I name her Perfect Jubilee. <laughs> this is my baby. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Our names are Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Oluwani Joshua. We've been married for 29 years. For 26 years, sorry. We've been married for 26 years. Last month, last year, in the year 2023, we attended the program in Port Harcourt a day with Daddy Jew, with the God of Daddy Jew. And when we got there, Daddy said, if you know you want to see me, because I cannot see anybody due to what happened, he said, whatever we know is our problem, we should talk to God. 
and as if we are talking to him. So myself and my husband, we agreed concerning what we came for. And we came home, continued praying. So cut the long story short, I became pregnant. And during the pregnancy, there was no problem. I did not feel anything, no pain. The Almighty God blessed me. And during delivery, I delivered normally. No operation. And this is the baby. In, in April 9th, 2024, the Almighty God blessed us with a bouncing baby girl. Her name is Ododo Jesu. Eriolua praise Deborah Eso Sasere Oluwani Who did it? Let somebody shout hallelujah Let somebody shout hallelujah we want to appreciate the Most High God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We appreciate Him because He rewards quality service, not high service. For many years of service in the, in the house of the Lord, I'm Michael Oweyemi and my wife is Oluwa Kemi Oweyemi. I'm the pastor in charge of Seed of a Sanctuary area and the admin officer of Ondo Province 16, Region 22. More than a decade, I and my wife, we have been married. Many people that are close to us just didn't know that we don't have fruit of the womb. But to the glory of God, the Lord ministered to us that we should adopt a, a child. We adopted her, and to the glory of God, the child is married now. And to the glory of the Lord, Daddy Gio, so many times, she has, he has come to me to meet me inside the bush and brought me out. And there was this confirmation. The Lord said, my son, I will bless you and, him and my daughter. There is no how long it will be, but I will do it. You know, as a pastor, you do naming ceremony. When you come back home, your wife will be feeling bad. But to the glory of the Lord, October last year, October 13, my wife conceived. Even the doctor that confirmed, that confirmed the test, he as a person does not believe in God again. But as a result of our case, he began to believe in God. And the day of the delivery, the doctor said, I don't believe in God any longer, but because of this your case, Pastor, please. He knelt down and I prayed for him. And he said, now I'm going back to my maker. And to the glory of the Lord, the Lord bless us with Wuraola, Benis, Oluwa Jomiloju, in the month of June 13, this year. We have come back to give all the glory, all the honor, to the Almighty. Let somebody shout hallelujah. A wonderful baby to the glory of the Lord. No complication throughout the pregnancy, no issue at all. The Lord has been faithful. And not only that, we moved to our personal house. There are so many tremendous blessings that the Lord did for us throughout these many years of waiting. Period of waiting is a period of learning. Beloved of the Lord, begin to serve the Lord with all of your heart. Don't do eye service in the, in the house of the Lord. The Lord reward quality service. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Living soul in the house, shout hallelujah. We are Mr. and Mrs. Garuba from New Life Zone, Province, Ondo Province 3, Region 22. Our testimony goes thus. We got married six years ago. And since then, we have been trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb. We prayed. We did a series of tests. We took medications. All efforts were to no avail. 
But after some year, the Lord spoke to my husband that he should go back to his Bethel because we got married in another church not redeemed. So when he told me, I asked him, where could be the Bethel? Then he told me he was once a member of Redeem. And he said that he was also confused in the, re in the revelation that he does not understand the meaning of he should go back to his Bethel. Then he was shown a logo of RCCG. And then he heard a voice that anywhere you found Redeem, that is where you will be worshipping. And then everything you want, God will do it for you. Then he said he saw himself again in the revelation that we were surrounded by a group of people in the church and the church is redeemed, that they were praying to us that we should receive our babies, receive our babies. Then our pastors led us to, we joined redeem. They led us to the camp. Then we prayed. That the geo said, he is going to, he, he decree upon every problem, according to him, that if he prophesy and we don't have faith, it will not work. But if he decree, he is commanding the problem. Then I keyed into that decree. When we got home, before we got home, we went to open heavens also and prayed. And God answered our prayers. Last year, January, I took in and God gave us a, a set of triplets. <laughs> we have Christabel, Castor, and Clarence, Bewaji, Boluatife, Bayode, the children of Garuba, and they are the children of Adeboye. Praise the Lord! Praise God! We cannot have heard those testimonies and not want to thank God. We want to shout out to God and say, thank you, Jesus. Let's lift up our voices and give him some praise. He's the God that brings joy. He's the God of hope. He's a miracle working God. He's the one that surrounds us with so much love, changing lives turning the lives of families around, healing the sick, being the great physician, and loving his own. Father, we say thank you. Thank you because you are balming Gilead. Thank you because you are our joy, you are our peace, you are our hope, you are all in all, you are our everything. Thank you for showing yourself strong on our behalf. Thank you for proving to the world that you're still in the business of miracles. Thank you for turning lives around for good. Thank you for inexplicable joy in families. Thank you for answering prayers. Thank you, Most High God. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' heavenly name, we have given thanks. Amen.